Hey, what's up guys? My name is Michael Westbrook. Thanks for checking out this video. As some of you already know, I recently released an HX Stomp preset pack. Thanks to everybody who's picked that up. Today, I'm happy to announce that I'm releasing another pack that I'm calling Creative Amps. This pack kind of takes advantage of the flexibility and the number of options that we get in the HX Stomp um, and puts some different things together in unique ways. I'm really excited about some of the tones in this pack. Um, and I find the sounds just to be really inspiring and really fun to play. So there's more info about that on my website. There's a link in the description. Today, I wanna to show you guys maybe my biggest tip for getting a kind of 3D immersive sound out of DHX Stomp. Now, there are different ways to achieve similar effects, right? We can use stereo verb, stereo delay. Um, also, a similar trick that I've used is using two IRs and panning them hard left and right. Um, all of these will get a more 3D sound when you're playing through headphones or in-ear monitors. The downside to some of these is that we don't always want a super wet sound, right? We don't always need a lot of verb or a lot of delay. It's just not appropriate for everything. So today I wanna to show you guys a quick trick on how to get a really 3D full sound but um, that's still a dry, dry sound. This is something I actually started doing years ago in a live setting doing it on an actual amp with a couple of mics. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up this effect in the HX Stomp. Um, we'll be using HX Edit just so that it's a little easier to see. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I've got HX Edit pulled up. Um, I'm gonna show you guys in that. It's just easier to do on there than it is on the pedal, but you can do it just on the pedal. Just follow the same steps. Okay, so in HX Edit right here, I have one of my presets pulled up um, and it's just a basic one amp IR, um, there's some pedals on there, which I don't have turned on right now. Um, and then there's a verb on here. So here's, here's what it sounds like as it is. So as you can hear, sounds great. Big, massive verb, right? Um, nothing wrong with that, but it's not always great, um, you know, for every kind of part or every situation. So um, I'm going to pull the verb off and I'll show you guys a stereo imaging trick. So before I show you guys that, I will say that I've been doing this trick for years in a live setting. Um, the, the context for this is um, being on in-ear monitors where you're, you're hearing your guitar, you know, through headphones, essentially, we would mic up a guitar amp, right? I would just have one amp and we would put two mics on it. Um, and it would sound great, but to kind of help it feel a little more alive and help it feel more kind of, you know, like we're in front of the amp or something, then we would put a short delay on one side. Um, and what that did is it kind of gave us a, some stereo um, imaging, some separation between the two mics um, that just made it a little more 3D. So that's basically what I've gone to um, try to create in the HX Stomp just to help uh, you know, different amp models and, and different sounds kind of come alive without necessarily making them wetter with reverb or delay. So I've taken this reverb out on the end here and I am going to put in a stereo delay. So I'm gonna go to this dual delay right here all right, and this first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna put the delay on the left side. So I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna make this a nine millisecond delay. The right side uh, doesn't matter on time wise. The left feedback we want to go all the way to zero. Right feedback doesn't matter. This is really important. The left mix we want to go all the way to 100 percent. All right, right mix we want to take all the way to zero, so we're not getting any of that sound. Level can stay there, low cut, high cut. Um, another important thing is we wanna turn this modulation off. Uh, I'm gonna turn trails on. I don't know that it really matters, but. Um, so essentially what's happening is that this means that everything on the left side is delayed nine milliseconds. Now, nine milliseconds is super, super short. Um, you know, a lot of times a slapback delay is going to be anywhere from 50 milliseconds to 100 or a little over 100. But, um, and you know, and that's a really short delay. So we're at nine. We're at just a small fraction of that, just to give you an idea of how short that is. But what this should do is give us some imaging left and right without necessarily making our signal wetter. Let's check it out and see how it sounds. 
So I just said to dial that left side to nine milliseconds, um, but there's no hard and fast rule on this. As long as you keep that delay time really, really short, um, then you're not gonna feel that as a delay. I think once you start getting around, you know, 20 or 30, uh, maybe even sooner, but you're gonna start feeling that as a delay and you might not like that. But definitely experiment and see if you find a number that you like a little better. All right, that's it. So we're gonna turn the delay off first. Here it is, just our regular signal. All right, now I'm gonna turn it on. So what do you guys think? Now, I will say another thing about this is sometimes it does make one side seem louder than another. So you might have to kind of adjust your levels. Um, you might kind of have to eyeball the levels and see is, is that making one side louder or not. Um, that's just kind of an ear thing. Um, you know, sometimes it might not actually be leveling any louder. It just might be perceived as louder. Hopefully this tip was helpful. Hopefully it makes some of your favorite sounds even a little more inspiring. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, um, or if you're doing something else to get great sounds of the HX Stomp that maybe I don't know about. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. All right, until next time, I'll see you out there.